Hey and welcome back to my channel on this Thursday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at and today I'm going to be talking about why autistic people appear to be cold or are seen to be cold um, this topic has been brought to my attention a few times recently and it's something that I want to talk about from my own autistic perspective everything I talk about on my channel is my own perspective I don't speak for the autistic community I give my thoughts on current events that are happening and this situation, this topic has been put to the forefront as it's been repeated a few times in my comments and personally said to me in uh, private calls and stuff. So from my perspective, autistic people can come across as cold or seem cold, callous, non-caring because we have a lot of sensory information processing going on and it can appear like we don't give a damn about anybody else apart from ourselves, which isn't true. We actually care so much so that we have so much sensory input going round and round and round and round and round in our heads all the time that we just don't process other people's thoughts, feelings, situations as well as what we must do or what we must try to do. And the problem is with that, that appears that we, that we don't care about you or the friendship or if it's family, we don't care about family and what they're going through, which is, isn't true. And this has come to my attention a few times. People have said to me, oh, Gemma, you know, you appear a bit not caring. You know, you don't really seem to really be interested in me. And it's all about you, 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 you all the time. And that's not true. I struggle to process other people's thoughts and feelings. Being on the spectrum means that my brain doesn't really compute, comprehend other people's thoughts and feelings as much. And I have to learn to get in tune with the everyday stereotype and learn to adjust myself to the normal neurotypical person which means i have to then try and read body language and facial expressions and that's something that i can't pick up naturally it's something that i have to be taught and explained to and when people say to me oh you appear like you're so cold and callous and you really don't care like you're not interested are you Gemma? and it's not that at all it's the fact that i'm processing so much mental information that you're giving me to try and read that i have to try and figure it out not just for my own sake but your sake as well and the problem is with that it can come across like i'm really not bothering or i'm really not trying or that i just don't want to know which isn't true the fact is i have so much mental processing energy that i have to use up in a daily conversation and it can appear like i'm being rude or blunt or disrespectful or ignorant or stuck up and that's not the case at all i'm really not any of them things but the Problem is my body language says something else which then conveys that I'm either not bothered or interested or I'm rude or I don't want to talk to you or, you know, and again, that's because my brain doesn't compute to what my body's saying. My brain can be saying one thing, my body on the outside says something else. So again, it is really frustrating when people say to me, oh, Gemma, you know, you just don't seem to care or you are rude or you're blunt or you're stuck up or you think you're better than anybody else and that's not it at all i am not a cold person by any stretch of the form of the imagination i am not a cold person you can ask anyone that knows me in my real life and most of you online people who talk to me you know i'm not cold you know that i don't come across as callous or mean and some people have confronted me about this they say oh Gemma you know well I care about you I spend a lot of time talking to you and you know you don't seem to want to care about me and it's not that at all it's the fact that I have so much processing auditory processing sen sensory stimuli processing that my brain just goes room 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 and i kind of describe it like a cd a cd player on a cd player and it's going round and round and round and round and round constantly to the fact that you can't slow it down and it's just constant my brain is a tick 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 information all the time every day constantly my brain doesn't slow down it does not stop and the problem is with that it can appear again that i don't care or that i'm rude i'm stuck up I'm annoying, I can be selfish, and it's not that at all. I really don't understand where this has come from, personally. I don't think it's something that I've particularly done, but I can come across as apparently being cold, and people with autism come across as being like this. I don't think it's that it's intentional. No, it's not. I don't think it's intentional for me or any other autistic person to say, oh, well, we just don't care, or we don't want to know. No, it's the fact that we either don't understand, or we're struggling to understand, we're struggling to comprehend the information, we're struggling to comprehend your feelings, because you neurotypical normal people don't really explain things to us, and then we're, we're expected to just jump 
and understand and we can't because it's ridiculous how can you expect a neurodiverse person to jump to you and to understand what you're going through when we have so much overstimulation and sensory stimuli to go through every day it's just impossible we can't always understand your thoughts feelings your actions like you can't understand us so i know it takes time for you to adjust to us too i get that but when you're saying to me oh you're cold you're callous you don't care you're rude you're stuck up you're ignorant no i'm not because it's a fact that i have so much going on in my life and in my head constantly i have constant information i have to take in it's day in day out week in week out year in year out i have to constantly have all this information tick 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 in my head i do so much for other people it's unreal i work myself to the bone like i am so exhausted all the time physically mentally emotionally i am tired tired all the time but i push through it because i have to i push through it because i'm expected to and i'm expected to act the normal way of functioning and it's just simply exhausting i can't conform to what you need of me or expect of me because my brain is different i also have what's called a sensory processing delay which basically means that my autistic brain is six seconds behind the neurotypical normal brain and i have to use that in time to filter the information and it's not just about filtering the information this is the thing it's about how i re respond to you so it's about my tone of voice the speed i say it the intention i say it the context i say it and i am not a cold person at all i'm not i'm not cold i'm not callous i'm not rude i try not to be i may appear to be yes i get that but i'm really if you ask anyone who knows me i'm not rude i'm not cold i'm not callous i'm not you know i'm very truthful i'm very blunt and honest to the point which is probably sometimes to my own detriment but you know i am not a cold callous person i'm not i am very empathetic i'm very approachable i'm very open probably again sometimes to my own detriment because i trust people too easily but again i'm not a cold person i want to break this myth that all autistic people are cold callous mean uncaring selfish stuck up patronizing no we're not because we are struggling to comprehend what's in our heads to get out to you into the public into our family our friends our workplaces it you just need a little bit of an adjustment people you need to wake up and realize that it's not us being mean or blunt rude defensive shady deceptive lying scheming we're not doing any of that it's the fact that we struggle to comprehend what you're trying to do to us and you're expecting us to get all this information and go oh so how are you da, 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 da. And it's like it doesn't work that way so i hope this video has given you kind of a more in-depth understanding from my perspective on how i feel about autistic people being cold callous we are really, really not we're the most warm empathetic approachable caring compassionate people on the planet and you are very lucky to make when you make friends with us you have a friend for life like you don't just make friends with an autistic person for a temporary time we are solid we are loyal we will be with you all the time and so i hope this video makes sense please give it a like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye